All right, we're going to hit the last selection tool here on Photoshop CC 2017. I'm going to open up Giraffe 1, and this giraffe is on kind of a complicated background, and, and probably you've already made the decision that the magic wand's not the thing to use. I mean, we could select partly around him, but there's so much stuff, that's not going to be good, right? So I'm going to control D. And certainly we could try our lassos, maybe our magnetic lasso, because there are some long parts. But once we get into these trees, that magnetic lasso is going to be really confused because of the wood and all of that. So I'm going to press escape, because that's not a good choice either. This particular giraffe is going to benefit most from what's called the quick selection tool. And this is my favorite tool. This is also a tool that is located in Select and Mask. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. You can take the quick selection. It is like a paintbrush. So it's got a circle. You can make it bigger or smaller. Okay. And here we have add to selection or subtract from selection. So if I were to zoom up here and start selecting him, I would be on my quick selection brush. I would have it add to selection and then I would just click. You don't even really have to click and drag. You just click in one time and it just kind of picked up that. And I can click and drag a tiny bit and see how it went all the way up in there. Click and drag a tiny bit and it added in. Now the reason I'm clicking and dragging a little bit and letting go is because each time I do it makes a history state. And I don't want to like go so far that I mess up so much that I then have to, you know, back up and lose everything. Um, because it considers it one history state. Now when you get close to an edge, just put your circle right up to the edge, and that's the easiest way to grab a hold of those edges. Now if you get outside of the selection, like here, just switch to minus. You can also hold down the Alt key, and while I'm holding Alt, it'll just switch for a second, and then when I let go of Alt, it'll switch back to plus. So that's a really good tip there. So this is a faster way than trying to magnetic things. Um, and then once you get down to this other area, you would have to switch probably to a smaller brush um, in order to get to uh, the last little bits down here. Now, we're going to cut this guy off because uh, his feet are in the grass, so I don't intend to use his entire body. But right here, I would make my brush a little smaller and then just kind of go down. Um, and again, I could choose to do this from you know, using any of the tools, and I can do this from the select mask, or I can do this from here. Now, all right, so here's this one. Let's go to select mask and look at it. It looks pretty good. I mean, you got to admit, that's a pretty nice looking selection. And I just feel like this is one of those tools that is absolutely the best tool. Um, now, we do have an issue here with some white going on here around the edges, so I might want to take that little brush one, um, ever so small, and just kind of get in there a little bit on those little white pieces. There we go. See that? That fixed really nicely in here. Um, so that works. Now the other thing to note is I could have started this completely in here. So I'm going to hit OK, but I'm going to Control D. I'm going to start over. I know you're like, what? You just did that whole thing. I know. I'm living dangerously. But let's click here on Select a Mask with nothing selected. Now because nothing's selected, I need to pull this back so I can see. Um, but there is a quick selection brush right here. See it? There it is. So I can actually use it straight from within here like this. Isn't this fun? I can straight from within here use this tool and just start painting just like I was doing before. This is pretty, this is a new thing in, in the newer versions of Photoshop. And again, I can hold down Alt and switch back if I've gotten you know too far into there or whatever. Same thing here in this little area. Uh, and then just head up in here. Look at that. Look how nicely that's selected. Is that not cool? So cool. And then again, if it's a smaller area, use a smaller brush. And then, you know, you're going to want to zoom up close. I've been doing all this from way out here, but you're going to want to zoom up close so you can see any areas that you might be missing. So Control plus plus plus. Take your uh, hand tool if you need to move it around. I usually start up at the top and take a look. Looks pretty good up there. I can't quite tell if that's something or not. Let's pull this. No, it's just like smudgy sky or something. I don't know. Um, you know, here, kind of got a lot of green maybe, so uh, I could either use this one or I could use this one, or you know, we could use this brush one too, you know, for that matter. But uh, quick selection, I'm going to put this one on minus and just kind of go around this edge just a little bit. There we go. That seems to be a little better. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, and then continuing around. Oh, there's an area that I completely missed I need to add in, so I'll quick selection that that sort of added this part in. You have to be careful because the quick selection brush jumps on you so it'll run out there and get parts that maybe you don't want. Um, I guess that's part of it so I'll add that in too. There we 
There we go. And we're just going to leave that. And then here's another part where I could, you know, get rid of it. All right. And then, like before, we can switch to a brush. So at some point, if we're like, you know, I just need to brush this one little piece back in, go to the brush and just brush it back in. Now, the brush won't jump around on you like the quick selection does. So um, it just goes exactly where you move your mouse. So if I want to get this part out of here, this one, I can just run it right along the edge, get that out. Or if I'm adding back in, just run right along the edge from the inside and add back in. If there's any areas that need that. And sometimes when you've used the quick, quick selection brush, you do have some areas that are just a little finicky. And this works. Um, as I've said before, of course, we could go out and use a lasso. You know, like we don't have to do everything... Uh, one way. So let's say this is pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to control 1 here to go to 100%. Um, take a look at it again under Select and Mask and probably you can see that I'm missing part of this fur here. So I'm going to look at this on black and I'm going to turn it way up so I can see it on black. And I am kind of missing some furry areas here. Let's pull this back so we can see. See look I'm missing quite a bit right there. You can't really tell. It doesn't look bad. But if I wanted to fix that part, then, you know, while I've got my opacity turned down a little bit, then I could choose to either use this one, I could use, it's really up to you here as to how you want to go at this. So there we go. Just paint that in. There, if it's too far, go to the minus one. I'm using the quick selection brush, so this one's going to jump around a bit, you remember. So, all right. There we go. Yeah, I think that's better. Um, control one here to back at 100%. Take a look. All right. So there it is on black. It's a pretty good selection. If you noticed any other areas that were problems, of course, you could go ahead and touch those up here. So quick selection brush, good brush. Um, you can use it, like I said, from within the selected mask, or you can use it on its own. So, uh, or you can use it both, like both, at, oops, I just copied him back in, both at the same time. You know, it doesn't really matter. You can, you can use it lots of different ways on here. So again, control D. I can use the quick selection brush from the beginning, if it's on plus, or I could use it partially and select a mask and then continue it from here, however I wish to do it. Um, just understand with all your selection tools, generally speaking, no one tool is going to knock it out. You know, for the most part, you're going to have to go back in with another tool, you know, you you want to be able to say, oh, well, let me just magnetic all the way around. Yeah, it's not going to happen. People who are good with Photoshop take their time, they zoom up really close, and they know that there's not just one tool to get the job done. You're going to start with one tool, and then you're going to pop over and use a different tool, and that's just the way it is. Um, understanding how to switch these views is really important. Like I said, if you're going to use the paintbrush, a lot of times I think it helps to go in that overlay mode where you can see it like we would if we were masking. Um, or you can look at it if you know you're going to be putting it on a white background. Kind of look at it this way and then see how it looks on white. And see if there's areas that don't look very good on white. Um, but, you know, vary your views. Vary your tools. Um, but I think you'll find that the quick selection brush is a really great brush. Um, and then if you, if you do have hair, remember that's the other thing. If you have hair to deal with, consider whether or not you need to utilize the little hair brush. That's a refine edge brush is what it's called. But that refine edge brush... Um, you know, don't make, don't use a big one, use a little one and just kind of hit those edges and see if that helps. And if it doesn't help, it's not a big deal. Put it on minus and get rid of whatever it did. So you're never stuck with anything. You've got all these brushes to brush areas back in. Um, if I feel like there's an area that I missed, I can brush it back in with a brush. Um, pull that opacity back so you can see exactly what you're missing. And then, like I said, just don't be afraid to zoom up really closely and switch back and forth from add to subtract. All right. All right. I hope this has helped um, in our review of all these mini Photoshop selection tools. I'm sure that you're becoming a Photoshop selection master. Good luck.